G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, what we're going to be finding out is when what happens when you put a HD recorder on the world's fastest production drone, which is the Dytone RGT349, I'll link it down below, that went like 117 miles, but close to 180 kilometers anyway, absolutely ridiculous for a little performance FPV drone, you can see that card, if you want to watch the full video on the speed runs, go watch that, that's where you really put it through its paces, but today, we're going to find out what happens when you take one of those speed drones and married up with some uh, I guess HD juicy recording footage in here that's what we're going to be checking out because we've got the Diatone R3 GT 349 HD a whole bunch of letters I'm going to link it down below but essentially it's got a Cadex uh, V2 in there which is like our recording camera Cadex Turtle recording camera where you've got your FPV camera and it also doubles as the HD recorder so what we're going to do this video is a little bit different we're very quickly going to go through the text and the specs in just the things that different because it is so similar to the last one if you want to watch the text and the specs on 349 go watch that it is so similar all they've done is change a canopy up and put in a different I guess a different camera so we'll talk about that a little bit and then we're going to go out rip it around we'll see what Trevor thinks show you some HD footage give you my impressions and just find out is it a good marry up because this is exactly what I want want I love the racing these little three inches and if uh, a big limitation for me is no GoPro footage because I love watching my footage back it's how I'm making my videos for you guys so we're going to find out is this a dream come true or does it miss the mark or are there some little things that they might need to change because trust me I have flown this a little bit and spoiler alert it's not going to be for everybody so there's definitely some things I would like to change anyway and just before we kick it off too big shout out to I'm going to put it on the screen I think it's monkey monkey I'm not too sure what your name is but um, I'll link I'll put a picture on the screen anyway for the Armiton Marmot the second frame we had to give away I know I've been getting a lot of emails and people on the discord Stuart who won the second frame so there you go that's going out to you so congratulations on uh, for winning that big shout out to Armiton for providing a second frame to give away but let's do it right now and uh, jump in and have a look at the different texts and the specs and then find out is this just a match made in heaven or are, are there some things that are letting it down. So the only differences really when we look at the components is there's two things the canopy and also the HD mounting system or HD camera they've got in there the Cadex V2. So the canopy is a little bit different it's a little bit large you can see it is also soft when I say larger it's got a larger hole in the front to take account of this lens and hopefully this is going to be in shot anyway in my roof camera that I'm still getting set up and learning to use and it is also soft mounted and that is to try to combat jello because often at times these little HD recorders they do seem to be a little bit more susceptible to jello than some of the other things like GoPros and all that sort of stuff that's definitely been my experience in the in the past and also you're going to be seeing the colors as well so when you're watching the colors we'll show you what that looks like sometimes the colors can look a little bit washed out and I definitely do find that in the flight footage but you guys be the judge of that because you're going to be seeing the flight footage and then the other difference here instead of just having uh, I guess they had to put an extra board in here so what we have is the Cadex V2 and that's a little HD recorder you put your SD card in and now this thing can record at 1080p which is amazing uh, for what a lot of people want so you can have some speed and also get some beautiful HD footage you don't need to put your GoPro on the top now that's really the only differences the things I have changed I put on my own XT60 I changed out the velcro strap because the one they give you is for like tiny tiny 3s batteries it's not real it feels underpowered on 3s so diatone please ship with a much bigger larger velcro strap so we can put on our proper batteries but that's it really on the bench the only difference is the full text and specs should pop up there if you want to watch the original 349 because pretty much it is identical to that they've just slapped in a hd recorder but what we should do let's have some fun stuff now let's jump out to the field scream it around and find out is this exactly what we've been waiting for or do they uh miss the mark on a few little places because this is i was very excited Excited, but I think you can kind of tell uh, seeing how this goes well let's just roll it and see what happens so let's jump out of the field see what Grumpy Trev thinks as well in three two one boop Right here, out here in the field about to rip it around with the GT349 but with the HD version see how that goes and over to Grumpy Trev and see what he thinks as well and yeah just find out is this any good traditionally in the past you know these Cadex cams they don't always go well we're gonna see is this the dream because I loved how this thing felt originally and if it can record HD as well well it might be golden but let's see how it goes radio 
Now, check, look at these lines coming through on the HD recording. That's absolutely disgusting. I know some people can fix that possibly with some different firmware versions and stuff, but that's not how it should come. I don't like it at all, and I would really feel like it's letting down the quality. I'd almost prefer to watch DVR back. It's okay at high speeds when you're watching it back, but it's still definitely noticeable. Nothing like the GoPro style of footage that I want, which is a huge shame because that's what I want in this craft. The camera for me is letting it down so much. Flight characteristics, it's beautiful. It's like the 349. It flies better. Very, very nice. It feels good on the sticks. But then when we get to the camera side of things, that can really be detrimental to not only how it looks, but also how it flies. So you can see on a full punch out, you are definitely getting a fair bit of jello. For my, I've seen some other videos too online. Look, most casual flying, it's okay, but that's not where this craft is meant to be. It is the fastest quad we've ever had. So why make it as it's got jello when you're punching it out at those high speeds? That is definitely a letdown. You've got those terrible lines on the outside. The colors look really washed out. Nothing's popping. The field of view was too small for me to really you know be able to go as fast as i wanted and combine that with the camera tilt which is this was at max camera tilt i just felt like the camera in all regards was letting this thing down so i'm going to say if you're going to pick one of these up just maybe you want to do some little pottering around your backyard but that's not what this craft is made for and it's an absolute shame because i love the original 349 it goes so hard and so fast and to put this camera in there that's what we want we'd love to get some good hd recording but it's just not the case in this one so uh, i I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. I'm going to say you're much better suited to just get the original. Look at these lines coming through too. So for HD recording, that's hopefully this is coming through anyway. That's not really what we want. But what we should do, let's hand over to Trev and see what he thinks. Alrighty, Trev. So now, what did you think of the original 349, the non-HD version? Well, it, uh, for what I remember, that thing went like a bullet. Actually, no, it didn't. It went like a missile. Yep. It was really, really quick. It was actually our quickest quad we've ever flown. Uh, yeah, so that was really impressive. Um, and this one's got a HD camera in it. That's even more impressive. If it works. If it works, yes. I hope it does because uh, nothing like a bit of really good footage out of a little three inch. All right, ready to rip it around? Yeah, I want to have a go at this thing. All right, let's see how this thing... How's the camera at this look before you're flying? <laughs> well, to be honest, the camera looks crap. Okay. Really sh** It looks a bit fuzzy. So, not impressed at all with the camera so far. Uh, oh, yeah. Remember this now. Yeah. It flies nice. It's no different than the other one. It's fast. It's quick. It's right. It's it's nice for a three inch. Look, I, I really am disappointed in the camera. Yep. Like it's got lines through it, there's a bit of interference. I'm getting uh, like waves through it, it's not jello though, not like we're used to. The, the camera, look, it's okay to fly with, but it's it's not uh, not that I'd like. Uh, did you prefer it without this HD camera in it to fly? Absolutely. Um, it doesn't feel any different to fly, it's just the clarity's not there in the, uh, in the video anymore. Oh, I'm really disappointed in this. <laughs> um, yeah, look, it's it's got heaps of punch still. It's just very nice to fly. It's, it's pointy. You know, they've they've done a great job of tuning this thing this time. Finally, you know, well, not finally, they did it with the other one as well. It's still the same. But uh, if you can put up with that sort of crappy video when you're flying it, be okay. That, it really flies well, you know, it's, at least it fits tune. in there, yeah, the tune fits in there, the camera fits in good. Look, it does look good. Okay, here's one. If you had to buy this one or the old one, which one would you buy? Well, look, I'm a bit of a stickler for really good video. I'd, I'd put up with this, uh, with the crappy picture that I'm looking at, I would put up with it because I don't have to carry a GoPro and I'm going to get really good video. Uh, out of the Cadex that's in this. It is a Cadex, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I look, I do like it. Like I said, the, the video is pretty sh** through, through the goggles, but it's flyable, and I would put up with that just for the sake of having really good uh, video to watch again later. Okay, so you like the HD file? Yeah, I reckon it was great. So we've got it back. Uh, final thoughts. <laughs> uh, oh, and it's about 200 bucks as well. Yeah, well, 200 bucks, I think it's about 280 Australian as well. I don't think it's bad value, but said you've got to be able to clear that video up a bit. I've flown other Cadexes that are clearer than that, so 
it's probably something you can fix. Yep, all right. Performance uh, out of 10? Oh, it's 10. It's absolutely a 10 out of 10, this thing. But for money, is probably, well, I'll give it a nine. I reckon it's very close. Okay, you like it? it? Yeah, very, I do like it. No worries. It's great to fly, and we're gonna get good footage out of it, so. Uh, Hopefully, we have gotta check back on the footage when we're home anyway, to make sure yeah. there's no jello or anything like that, but yeah. yeah. All right, so if the footage turns out well, that's the score you're gonna give it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, if the footage is bad? I'll give it a five. <laughs> And they, if the money will go down too, I tell you. Yeah. Rightio, so there it is. There's my review of the Diatone 349RGT HD, the second part, because you know you've seen the different. Anyway, there's my review of it. I'm gonna link it down below. And for me, it's a bit hit or miss because I, I love the Diatone 349, the original one. It is an absolute screamer. That thing just is like a bat out of hell ripping around. That's what it's about. It's about pure speed, pure performance, absolute screamer, racing. And when it comes to this, the camera that they've put in there doesn't let me do that. For one, the colors are washed out. Two, I'm getting some jello, which I didn't get on the original one. Number three, well, that's at the high speeds anyway. It seems okay if you want a gentle flyer and you want to float around and just go like 70% of the throttle, but that's not what I want to do. I want this thing to break the sound barrier and it's got the potential, but if you're going to do that and then get your jello, well, that's not for me. You also, the colors look washed out and dull. The lens isn't big enough. It all comes down to these problems with the camera and it doesn't, when I say the, the field of view isn't big enough and it doesn't get enough tilt for the speeds that I want to go to. So the camera for me is really letting this one down. Now look, I know Trevor was very excited for it and he did put the proviso that if the HD footage came out well, but you know, what do you guys think? You've also got those little lines in there and it's just a bit of a shame because uh, I really like this craft. It's what it kind of the idea behind it is the dream that I want. I want a tiny little three inch that fits in under the weight limit that records HD, but it's just, uh, it's not doing it in this case. So I'd say, I'm gonna say my recommendation is you are much better served to get the original Diatone 349. Give this one, a, that's if you want extreme racing. If you just wanna go like 70% of the throttle and you're happy with that, by all means, go ahead. But I really like the original one and I think it's super cheap as well, like uh, maybe 120 bucks. I'm not too sure, but I think that is a much better version for the type of flying that I wanna do. But anyway, what do you guys think? Drop your comments down below. Let me know, do you agree, disagree? Do you uh, are you really upset with me that I don't like this one? All that sort of stuff. Let's share the discussion down below. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Let me know too what you think about this studio. I'm really trying to set some things up. I'm going to have some more lights coming in here soon. Trying to reduce the shadows. I've got some big curtains up and some sound barriers. Change it, trying a new mic. A whole bunch of things trying to improve this for you guys. The Discord link should be down below. Go check us out on Discord. I'll put my Patreon at the end of this video too. So we've got some stuff for you guys. Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day. And happy, as always, happy flying. I'm just going to tack this on the end here. Uh, big shout out to all the FPV mums and dads out there. And all the hardworking people who make YouTube content for everybody to enjoy. And... Uh, I guess, yeah, just, I know Drone Mesh, uh, I just got a post on your Patreon where I know, if you haven't seen Drone, Drone Mesh, he makes amazing stuff. All the best with your son's surgery, mate. I know you've got a little toddler who's going to get some stuff and as a dad of a young child, I, I hope everything goes really well. I'm thinking of you and your family and I hope that goes really well. And shout out too to JB who's just had their second kid and a child. So uh, I know sometimes it seems people get so wrapped up in just the content and the things I see on the channel but you know everybody's family is behind the scenes and a big shout out to everybody too with uh you know all the parents out there who are trying to fly and cope with family life and looking after their kids all that sort of stuff so I want to give a shout out a big special mention anyway to those two you know to Bardwell for his new baby and I hope everything goes well it's very very cute and uh also to Drone Mesh I hope everything goes well with your son's surgery anyway happy flying